tell me about the importance of having the LGBT community a part of the entertainment industry. Oh my God, representation yes. is important. Uh, we've had to hide in the background so for so long. And me, I'm Jamaican, and especially with my culture, it wasn't something that we brought to the forefront. It was almost something that we hid. But why hide when we're fabulous? Why hide when we're great and we're achieving excellence, which is why we're here right now. Overall American culture. And so for us to take a moment to kind of stop and say, this community matters, this community is super important, and let's, and let's really celebrate it, right? And let's, and let's make it festive and keep it alive and really be here and to be a part of it and center the brand and it was really important for us. And it means excellence, it means celebration. Um, too many times in the past, we had to really mire ourselves in the heartache of the past, the pain of our blackness. And what I love about this is that it's celebrating our blackness and it's celebrating our queerness, quite frankly. Oh, in my day-to-day, -day, I'm just trying to make the world a little bit better and be a better person myself. With this is 50.com, how are you feeling today? I'm great. I'm so excited for tonight. Yes. It's going to be such an amazing celebration. What are you excited to see tonight? Oh, oh my God, I'm excited to see everyone. I think, you know, for us, you know, and specifically at BT, we've always, you know, Bob Johnson, our original founder, was the first to create a space and agency for us to just be seen yes. and celebrated and respected and recognized. And so I think this is just a continued next step in yes. terms of just creating a space for celebration you know what I'm just so excited to be amongst the greats I'll be providing the music here tonight cutting up on the turntables so just to be able to create a vibe and take the people on a journey and increase the um, the what do, what do I call it the energy of the night I'm excited about it <laughs> what energy am I feeling right now girl good energy all around it's 2023 you know and this event is going on i was asked to be a part and i'm just excited you know my goal for tonight is to really just support um the incredible team here at bet and what, what they put on an incredible show um, to support them and getting their messaging across um, to honor the honorees for tonight and to make sure everybody has a good time. As long as I've done that, I've done my job. It's about time. That was my reaction. It's about time because I'm ready to show out. You hear me? Put me in any space. I'm just ready to represent. I'm ready to make sure that everyone has fun, that they're feeling inspired, that they leave feeling full. So that's what I'm ready for. Iconic means to you? Iconic means to me someone that has put in the work. Someone that has really just elevated year after year, um, constantly changing the game. Someone who believes in themselves. Someone who's proud to stand in their own shoes. Someone who's willing to take um, challenges. Someone who's willing to risk it all. That's an icon. Being in the community and starring in one of Tyler Perry's shows is amazing to me. So just being invited already is an honor. So to being here, being being here to even represent the community and the icons of the community and see icons of the community be appreciated is I think that's that's amazing. I am a black girl from Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> and so for me to have now been a leader of a multi-million dollar agency, to have been able to be the Grand Marshal for New York Pride, to be a global model for Apple, and then be in community with other black, queer, and trans leaders who are doing the same things. It's beautiful to be a part of a, a revolution that's about us getting more joy and opportunity. So that's what I think about in these moments where I came from, where I'm at, but then also who I get to share it with because these moments, they don't happen for everyone. So I'm really excited to be here to experience it and enjoy it. Well, aside from the how am I iconic, aside from the fact I just finished airing my number one dating show on Zeus, I was executive producer of it, been on TV for five years, done a lot of amazing things, I can't wait to do more. I think I'm just getting started, but I think I'm iconic because I'm unapologi unapologetically me, and I think that um, my energy can't be bought, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even think it can be transferred. Like, my energy is just, like, I'm one of a kind. I'm one of one. Oh, I'm excited. I'm really just excited to feel the energy of the crowd. 
um, to see so many people from our community be um, elevated in this way is, is always a beautiful thing, and we need more of it. You know, so I know the audience is going to give all the energy that we need. Even self-affirmment, yes I do. Um, I've been told that I am iconic, and if I am iconic, it is not because I was just, you know, placed into the iconic space. It's because of the people whose shoulders that I stand on, who did iconic work long before I came here. I am iconic because um, I've been given a vision to make sure that moments like this happen tonight. That moments like, um, you know, BET celebrating and honoring LGBTQ queerness um, in its entirety from our trans sisters and brothers to our lesbian sisters and brothers, our gender nonconforming sisters and brothers. Um, I have been given an assignment, a divine assignment, to make sure that our allies, our straight allies, understand who we are as black queer people um, in all lines, you know, and um, I hold that very, very dear. And I think because of that calling, I think that makes me iconic.